Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to version 2 of C++ Crash Course. So in this episode of the series, we're going to talk about the stack and the heap, and this is really just a continuation on our discussion of uh, scope. So let's go ahead and begin and open up stack and heap. And we're going to be focusing on these two functions, so one called bad return, the other called good return, both of which return a pointer to an integer. But what we're going to focus on here is where this memory is being allocated. So in bad return, you see we create an integer here, this int a is equal to 5, and we've talked about this before where, you know, when we say int a is equal to 5, what we're really doing is asking the compiler to allocate some space for us, for the space of an integer, and set the contents of it equal to 5. But like we talked about last time with scope, you know, this integer, it's, its lifetime is going to end when the function ends, and that's because it's allocated on the stack, right? So the stack is where we store all of these temporary variables that we use inside of our functions. So when we do something like this return here, where we're, we're returning the address of this temporary variable, this address doesn't really mean anything outside of this function, right? When we try to access this, um, or if we try to access, say, this integer, or this piece of memory where this integer is stored outside of this function, usually it's going to crash our program. So now let's look at the second function called good return. So we do something slightly different here. So here we create uh, instead of an integer, we create an integer pointer, and we do this new int, right? So this new keyword is for dynamic memory allocation. So while when we do something like int a, we're asking the compiler to reserve some piece of memory for us, this new int right here is saying, you know, at runtime, I want to go ahead and dynamically allocate some memory. And so what this will return is a pointer to a piece of memory that stores, um, in this case, an integer. Right, so here, if we want to allocate more than, say, a single int, maybe we want to allocate an array of integers, we could do something like this. So this would allocate an array of 20 integers. So what this, uh, this right-hand side returns is a pointer to where that array begins. Right, and we're just going to store that in this local variable a. So this pointer is still a local variable, but where this memory is stored is separate. Right, um, this memory is allocated on what's known as the heap. And this is something that unlike the stack, we have to take um, more active management of. So with um, the, the stack allocated variables like we had up here with A, we didn't really have to worry about the allocation and we don't have to worry about the deallocation. So at the end of this function, you know, we can think of this integer A as basically being freed. But with something like this dynamic allocation where we do this new int right here, we have to manually deallocate this. So when we do this return a here, we still have access to this integer, right? So we're returning this pointer. So you know where this integer is being stored is still valid. So we can still dereference this pointer without any issues because it's not allocated as a temporary variable, right? It's a something that's allocated on the heap, not the stack. So inside of our main function, right, we'll see two different things here. We'll go ahead and test out bad return and good return. And we'll see that, you know, within our address space, these two things get allocated in completely separate areas. So we'll print out um, in both of these functions the address of both. And then we'll print out, you know, to start with just the address uh, and the value stored by our good pointer. And the reason why is because when we recompile this and try to print out the contents of our bad pointer, when we try to dereference the one returned by bad return, it'll end up crashing our program. And then at the very end of our program, like I said, we have to remember to delete um, or free this memory. So unlike things allocated on the stack, we have to manually delete things we allocate on the heap. But there's better design practices that we can kind of get around this and, void, and avoid having to do all this manual allocation, deallocation with, and we'll see that in later videos. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's compile this. So I'll compile stack and heap. Um, we'll call the output stack and heap. And you see the compiler is smart enough to warn us about this. So it says that we're you know, returning the address of a local variable a. So this is basically just a dangerous thing to do. And so we can go ahead and run our program. And you see that we print out the address of our stack allocated variable, or a variable on the stack, and the one, uh, the pointer um, to the piece of memory that's allocated on the heap. And you see they're actually in very different parts um, in our total, you know, me our memory space, right? So this is um, in our heap and this is on our stack. And then you see we can dereference this piece of memory um, on the heap just fine after it's returned from the function. Because these things on the heap, they're not going out of scope, right, when the function returns. But when we go back into our, um, if we go back into our example, right, so let's open this back up. 
and let's uncomment this try to when we try to dereference this bad pointer and we recompile and trying to run it again right you see that at the very bottom here let's go ahead and run it again we see we get a segmentation fault here right so it basically just crashed our program when we tried to dereference that that pointer so another thing we can do is we can look at this um, from an assembly level so here we're on compiler explorer uh, it's a great tool you, you can see my um, my video on tools of the trade where I briefly go over Compiler Explorer. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at something. So let's just create a function. We'll call it, say, void test. And here we'll just see what this allocation on the stack really looks like. And one thing that you might want to do to you know clear this up is this you know dash f omit um, frame pointer. Right? This is pretty commonly used and it, it, it really cleans up um, the way that this code looks. So the first thing we'll do is why don't we just you know create a variable so say int a is equal to five, right? And you see that basically our a is some is being stored at some offset to this RSP or the stack pointer, right? And that's where we're just loading in five. And the same thing happens if we say int b is equal to ten, right? You see it's just another offset from the stack pointer. And if we do something like an array, right? It looks very similar as if we just did a whole bunch of these, um, you know, int a int b and c side by side by side. So if we said int a you know, array is equal to you know, one, two, three, four, five, you see it looks very similar. Um, they're all just offsets, you know, from this, from this stack pointer right here. Now, what does it look like if we do say uh, a heap allocation, right? If we do a dynamic allocation, so something that doesn't go out of scope. And we can also get rid of this fomit frame pointer if you want to see the other version. So here you see it looks slightly different, but we have this kind of additional setup um, and return uh, stuff that goes on afterwards that is really only useful if we're handwriting assembly. So we typically put that um, fomit uh, frame pointer um, when we're just looking at it. So um, what does it look like if we, instead of doing a stack allocation for these things, let's do a heap allocation. So we'll say int pointer a is equal to new um, int. And let's say we want to allocate for five. So let's see what that looks like. So now you see um, we do this subtraction here. So this is just a, basically a little bit of an allocation for the stack. Um, so it's an offset from this um, these register stack pointer. Um, and then we just do this move of 20 into EDI, and this is just setting up a call. So you see, instead of having all of those uh, moves of values into some offset from the stack pointer, we get a call, right? So this is going to be uh, a function call um, to this operator new, right? And then you see that we're going to basically store whatever gets returned onto the stack. And that's what our pointer A is. Our pointer A is on the stack, but the actual memory itself um, is what this pointer is pointing to, and that's being allocated through this function, this operator new over here. And then you see at the very function, uh, right at the bottom of the function, you know, we go ahead and return. Um, but that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. So it's a brief introduction to the stack versus the heap, um, a little example of you know how it preserves, or rather how you know memory allocated on the heap doesn't go out of scope when we return from a function, um, as well, and also how this looks kind of at the assembly level. So if you want to look at any of this code, this can be found at github.com slash coffee before arch. So we looked at C++ Crash Course, and this is under um, fundamental concepts in memory and stack and heap. So feel free to download this, check it out, let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.